Hello, Joe here. It's Sunday the 12th of May and I'm here bringing you another chilli plant update. If I just pan across the floor, I've put all my plants onto the floor and I'll go through each of the groupings individually and you can see the progress that they've made, um, which is massive progress in my eyes and really I probably should have bought you an update earlier. Um, this is the 91st day of growing um, and you can start to see on the majority of my plants they've got pods. So here we go. These two here are demon reds. Uh, very very nice. You can see the top of the plant here has got some pods. These are still in really small um, 3 inch pots so um, later today I'll probably pot those on. Um, looking very very nice as you can see lots of bushing on the stem um, sort of lots of kind of bushy growth this is a an ornamental variety so these will look really nice once they start um, spitting out pods and they'll probably go on a kitchen window sill or something like that I might even bring one uh, to put on my office desk with me um, they're just beautiful looking plants you know really nice really healthy really green what more can I say about those um, these three here, you know, one, two, three, they're all Scotch bonnet plants. Um, this one I should have potted on long, long ago. That's in, it's still in a three inch pot. It's not looking, you know, it's looking healthy. It's just, it's just small. That's all. Um, that will come on lots once I put it into a bigger pot. Um, you know, nice foliage, nice and green. Nothing to worry about. It's just small. Um, this one is the best looking Scotch bonnet. If you try and bring you in, you can sort of see the growth coming out um, of the nodes on the main stem, so that'll hopefully bush out. It's huge. If I, you know, put my hand on a leaf for some perspective, sort of as big as my hand, some of these leaves are huge. Look at that compared to my hand. Monstrously big leaves. Um, but really nice looking, you know, it's growing okay. Um, height wise, it's. Uh, let's have a look. You know, roughly about 15 centimetres, so it's, you know, it's coming on. Lovely looking plants, sort of gnarly, nice curled up leaves. Um, I don't think that's a problem, I think that's just how it grows. Um, but I've started putting some nutrients um, in all of my plants. I'm currently using, let's just get it for you, uh, Tomorite. Half a dosage of what goes in tomatoes, and I'm not doing it every feed, sort of every two feeds really. Um, but th that's seeming to benefit the plants. Uh, this one, slightly, if you notice, that's really nice dark green, lovely leaves. This one hasn't actually had a feed with the nutrients and the leaves are slightly lighter colour. But, you know, it's bushing out nicely again. Um, it's, it's always been um, a smaller size than this one here. So it's doing well and that's probably, you know, again... 14, 15 centimetres, so it's looking nice. These are in really small pots. Um, again, these probably in the potting on today. They're in five inch pots. Um, but they're good, you know, they're okay. Bring you on to these four here. One, two, three, four. They're jalapeno plants. Um, you can see the individual characteristics of the plants clearly in this video, I think. Um, these are much, much taller. Um, this one, we go from the base rather than sort of the top of the pot like I did with the Scotch bonnet ones. Like what, 25, 26 centimetres. Really nice. It's quite a straight stem, which you can see all the way up. Um, it's just starting to flower. Perhaps you can't see it on this one, but you can probably see it on here. Uh, there you go. Flower just coming out. They're, they're very nice plants actually. These are much, much more difficult to bush out. Um, I've tried a technique on this one of wrapping it round the stake, as you can see. But you can see just here where it snapped. That's not detrimented the plants at all, but that stopped me then from extending the stake any further but it hasn't hasn't detrimented the growth of the plant but it hasn't benefited the growth of the plant either so I'll probably not continue with that anymore um, I'll just leave it to grow naturally I'll probably leave that stake in there to be honest with you and just leave it grow 
But because they're so tall and straight, I've taken to um, topping the plant. So what I've done here is, you can see, uh, let me try and get in. You can probably see just here where I've topped it. Just there. Um, so what the plant's then started to do, instead of doing what this plant's done, which is growth all the way up and then started to spit out pods, this plant has started bushing out here, here and here. That's about two weeks growth, uh, two weeks since I've topped it. Now this plant on the other hand is about three to four weeks since I've topped it and this is a jalapeno plant and if you try and, I try and sort of get a side by side, look at the difference in foliage. Very, very different plants. In fact, you'd probably think there were different varieties entirely. Um, this plant uh, got topped, if you can see, it got topped, if I move this leaf out of the way, you can see where it got topped. Here. Here it got topped. Right? And it spat out why Let's get a ruler, see if I can show you. Got topped, got topped there, and then spat out this Y shape, as well as spitting out this, this, and it's it's bushed out lovely. Uh, so anybody that says topping does not benefit your plant, well, there's a, there's a results. Um, it's almost the same size as this plant. So although it stunts your growth for a couple of weeks. I would say it's worth it. But what I'm going to do is keep two of the plants topped and two non-topped and then we'll see at the end of the season if you keep following my videos for the updates then you'll see at the end of the season the results with the pods. Again probably some of these need potting on. Um, they aren't root bound but they'll probably benefit from some more soil so we'll see. We'll probably pop them on sort of next week or maybe the week after. We'll see. Uh, so that's the force the four jalapeno plants and then right at the back we've got some absolute beasts um, I'm gonna have to zoom out actually just to even get them in shot they're huge these are the Hungarian hot wax and let's see if we can put one with the scotch bonnet for size comparison that's the small scotch bonnet that's the hot wax and these don't forget these are all planted the same time they're all planted on the 10th of February so the individual characteristics of the plant are coming out massively so let's see the size of this one I'll put it this way it's the 30 centimeter ruler and it's nearly at the top um, so they, they are monstrously big it's just spitting out pods at the top um, I've got to be honest with you, on all of these plants, most of them are sprouting pods, certainly the jalapenos and the Hungarian hot waxes are sprouting pods, but I've chopped off five or six pods from most of the plants. It's too early in the season to be getting proper pods, and I want to promote the growth of the of the leaves rather than the growth of the pods. So I might chop these pods off as well and just let the foliage grow, maybe grow even into June. Um, but we'll see, you know, if you've got any comments, you can put it in the comment section below or message me. Um, you know, if you've got any comments or opinions as to what I should do. Uh, this is really nice. Hot wax. Uh, you know, it's coming out on the stem. This hasn't been topped. This is just left to grow. Really nice. Um, slight yellowing on the leaves. Probably some nutrient problem. We'll, we'll fix that. We'll put it in a new pot. Feed it. That'll be fine. This one is my only top top wax um, so the height difference is clearly noticeable I'll put this one right next to it in terms of height it's probably about a third of the height of that one but you can start to see it's it's uh, you know it's pushing out along the stem nicely that's about two weeks topped this plant at the back and this plant were topped at the same time about two weeks ago and that was stopped about three to four weeks ago so you can sort of see the progression um, so hopefully that will keep these videos interesting and varied for you um, because then you've got that comparison rather than just um, 
you know, all the plants being grown in the same way. They are obviously clearly grown with the same soil and the same growing conditions. They're all grown inside. They all get the same level of sun. Um, so that will hopefully keep something constant. But hopefully it'll be interesting for you. And please like, comment and subscribe to my channel. And as I've said earlier, please do feel free to message me or private message me. Put it in the comments below, any of your questions or comments. Thanks very much for watching and keep watching for more Chili Plant updates.